An Inverted World I enter an inverted world where grace is restored to me. My body lengthens, straightens, slips out of gravity into effortless pavan. Each step sculpted, a raised arm light as marble, no fear of falling. Speed seems vulgar, best eschewed, and silence eddies around impact. Solidity drifts uncertainly. Targets are marks missed. Thoughts must surface slowly, emerge, turn, submerge, as ease replaces effort and weight translates to space. Return to this harsh world is constriction and contraction in shivering and stumbling under my body's burden. A perception of my PA as a vision of Saint Kevin after Paula Meehan. Rosie's tell-tale meow muffled by her prize. I worry in the spring for the nestlings and fledglings, the roosts and burrows, mercilessly raided and decimated by the killers I keep for company. My PA, my proxy body, runs out to intercept the murderer. We have vain hope, impelled by referred duty. Miraculously, Rosie relinquishes her conquest and my proxy hands gather a scruffy scrap of feathers. I prepare the bathroom, take out the recovery box that lives behind the bath and we ready the death watch. From here on in, Every trip to the toilet includes a peek into the box. The bird still breathes. This time, the recovery box has done its job. My PA does what I cannot. She stands at the open bathroom window. The goldfinch huddled in her outstretched hand. I identified the species from a lost feather. She takes the opportunity to examine the traumatised creature. Its luscious lower lashes and quivering gold. On my behalf, she tolerates a curious spider, politely poking it to move along. She waits. The bird might have nested. It finally flutters up, perching on a low willow. Released from her post, she goes outside and suggests the bird might be safer on a higher branch. It takes her advice. This morning, my sofa sleep is drenched with tumbling golden notes from right beside the house. A prayer to Saint Kevin from a Leitrim garden. My Scarecrow Body I look human from a distance, and perhaps to other species. 
but I cannot stand upright without this stake and crossbeam. My legs hang unevenly from this loosely tied waist of an ill-fitting torso. These arms ache to incapacity, serving as perches for talkative crows, offering comfort to the enemy. I stand alone out here, a mockery and a warning to be battered by circumstance, a hat stand for cast-offs. I am taken for a cipher, empty and impossible, but only my outline was constructed, my inside is my own.